Hello Home Fragrance fans, welcome back or welcome if you're new. My name is Bobby Jo and I'm an independent Scentsy consultant. So today we are discussing my warm reviews of the Harvest Bar collection of 2024 that Scentsy will be launching on September 1st. So this will be available to purchase in this, this cute little bag and it comes with five different brand new bars that Scentsy has never launched before. Uh, it is $33 Canadian. $25 American. Um, and this is kind of a launch that has fall and winter scents in it. So this is kind of a, a, a fall winter scent package that you get. And um, it, it, it doesn't, these will not come separately. You can't purchase them separately, but you can put them in your club separately. So um, I will be doing that. I will probably repurchase this because there are a few scents in here that are home runs. Love them. Um, so I will be going through all of these. Again, these are my warm room reviews uh, and how I smelt these in our home. Our home is gonna differ from your home and my sniffer is gonna differ from your sniffer, of course. But these are my honest, honest reviews of how I feel. I'm always honest in my videos. So the first one, we are going to talk about is cinnamon woods. So cinnamon woods, I warmed, it's a brown wax. I warmed uh, it, I warmed six cubes downstairs in the man cave. And cinnamon woods is Bartlett pear, cinnamon bark, sugared woods. Now on cold and on warm, I did not smell the Bartlett pear whatsoever. What I did smell, and it actually fit in the man cave pretty well because it had this cinnamon woodsy smell to it. So it actually, like it was, um, it wasn't sweet. It was just this cinnamon woodsy smell. Again, no Bartlett pear came out at all. Um, it was like, again, very woodsy. It was, but it was, it was light in that area. So it'll be interesting how I warm it in, in a different area. If it just takes on a different, like, performance wise, but it was like a five or a six, maybe a five. So it was very light and I removed it after 12 hours. So not the best performer, um, but it, it did fit in that area pretty well, I have to admit. So that was Cinnamon Woods. The next one we're gonna talk about is Apple Spice Season. So Apple Spice Season is this red color wax and what Sensi says about this one is, oh, uh, where are we? There we go. Juicy apple, harvest pumpkin, sparkling spices. So I did two in the front office and three in the front entry. Those two areas are close together. So I knew I would get a good smell combination going because they would amalgamate and it was the same scent, right? Um, it was what I smelt from this was apple cider and pumpkin cider mixed together. It was a fantastic smell. Love this smell. It was about a seven out of 10 on performance. I removed it after about 24 hours. Um, however, in the man cave, I had going the brand new September scent of the month, which is spooky, but sweet. And that one is pretty strong. That one started coming down the hallway. <laughs> and kind of amalgamated into the apple spice season. The smell I got from that was absolutely amazing. So get yourself some apple spice season and spooky but sweet and mix them. They are fantastic mixers. Love those two together. Amazing, amazing smell. Um, I don't know if anybody else has said anything about those two smells, but I don't know here at first, I'm not sure, <laughs> but those two smells were fantastic. So just so an FYI, you might want to mix those two, but this one is definitely going into my club, which is apple spice season. All right. The next one was peaks and pines. So peaks and pines, that's the color. Peaks and Pines, what Sensi said about it was dewy greens, lavender, and cedarwood. This one smelled totally different from cold to warm in a good way. So um, you definitely have to like pine scents. 
it did not have pine in here listed whatsoever, but I smelt pine. What I smelt, and sorry, I put two in the office. And trust me, that's all I needed. Holy moly, it came up the, it went into the entry, up the stairs. This Peaks and Pines was such a powerhouse. Like, I mean, in regards to strength and performance, a 10 out of 10. Wow. But you have to like pine spice notes. That's exactly what I got. I also got in here a citrus smell. So I, I'm reading my notes here because I loved this smell. It was amazing. It was this pine spice. And when I say spice, kind of clove smell, clove cinnamon smell with orange. That is what I got from Peaks and Pines. I did not get, get dewy greens. I did not get lavender. I didn't get cedar, cedar wood. It was pine and orange and spice, like clove and cinnamon. That is what I got from Peaks and Pines. I love those smells. I love those smells put together. This is definitely like a November, December, January <laughs> bar for me. Love it, love it, love it. Um, but again, it was a powerhouse, 10 out of 10. It lasted for four days. I had it in that warmer for four days. And then I was like, okay, I think I'm done with you. I'm going to remove you, even though you still have smell left. Um, I'm still going to remove you because I'm kind of tired of you. So <laughs> I need a new scent in there. So great powerhouse, putting it in my club. Peaks and Pines is going into my club. If Peaks and Pines can't speak. Um, if you don't like that kind of scent, then you might not like this, but I love this kind of scent. So I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. And the performance was wow. Okay. So the next one was apple berry shortbread. Apple berry shortbread was this color wax. I put it in my bedroom. So put it in the bedroom, two, two cubes in the bedroom, in the warmer, Juicy apple, harvest pumpkin, sparkling spices. That is what Sensi said about this one. I found that um, it smelled like lemon shortbread. I smelled no berry. I smelled, um, and this is not a bad thing because this was a really good bar. I smelled no berry. I didn't really smell clove. What I smelled, and this is what Sensi says about this one, so berry, lemon, clove, and vanilla. So what I smelt in this one was lemon shortbread, which it smells like shortbread and lemon. With a bit, bit of that vanilla, that's what came out. I did not smell berry whatsoever. I did not smell apple as what it says in the name. Didn't smell apple. What I smelt was a lemon vanilla -y shortbread smell. Now, this was a very nice smell. It was very light in the bedroom. I would say about five, and it only lasted about 12 hours. However, the smell was amazing. It was a great bakery scent um, and a very light shortbread vanilla smell. It was very, very good. Um, the only thing is it was very light, so you gotta be careful in bigger areas, um, but it was a lovely smell. I really liked it. Um, I may club it just to get more of it. Um, I do have six left, so I might club it because my next club is running September 4th. So what I might do is club a few of these just so I have more on hand, like the Peaks and Pines, the Berry Apple Shortbread, and the Apple Spice Season. I won't be clubbing Cinnamon Woods, though. Okay. So the last one was sparkling spiced citrus. It was this orange wax. And what Sensi said about sparkling spiced citrus was sparkling mandarin, black currant, clove bud, raw sugar cane. So this one, I put two in the office, three, three in the front entry. Um, it was this nice, sweet mandarin smell. It was not like an orange, like uh, sun-kissed citrus. You know how it's that citrus orange smell? No, this is a sweet mandarin sm smell. So a very, not as citrusy, just the sweet orange smell. I didn't get a lot of spice out of this. 
There was a little bit, but not a lot. It was a pretty good, good performer. It came out about a six or seven out of 10. Um, at about 14 hours, I was left with about a five, and then I removed it at 24. This kind of reminded me of last year uh, when Sensi came out with the tree, the, um, the big... Uh, the tree, why can't I think? The tree bars, um, the bricks that were made in the tree, there was five cents, and one of them was orange spice. This is what it kind of reminded me of. So sparkling spice citrus reminded me of orange sprites. Orange spice, except sparkling spiced citrus, seeming to have issues with that one, um, has more of a... Um, it smells like orange spice, but it has more of that Kool-Aid smell to it. So if that makes any sense, so kind of like an orangey Kool-Aid um, smell to it, but not, don't let that scare you. It still was a very nice smell. I really enjoyed this a lot. Will I be ordering more of this? Absolutely. Will I put it in my club? I'm unsure. So <laughs> I have to order more and warm it more, um, but I still have a lot of orange spice the brick, I, I still have one of those left. So I might not club this one, but will I order more? Yes. Now, in regards to where I'm putting these one to five, I am putting peaks and pines, number one. Number two is apple spice season. Number three is berry apple shortbread. Number four is sparkling spice citrus. And number five is cinnamon woods. This is all, I find that this collection is kind of has something everywhere and good for everyone. It has a pine scent. It has a woodsy scent. It has a bakery scent. It has a fruity scent and it has this fruity spice scent, right? So it kind of has a scent in all of the cat, all of those categories besides fresh. Um, it has a scent for basically ever like throughout the season, but for fall winter. Um, so it was a very, very good collection. I liked it. Will I be ordering more? Yes. Am I putting some in my, my club? Yes. I'm putting peaks and pines in my club. Definitely an apple spice season in my club. Definitely. I am not sure about apple berry, app, berry apple shortbread, um, that one probably won't go into my club the more I think about it, just because it's not an over powerfully performer, but I will order more just to see. And, and I don't think I'll put sparkling spice citrus in my club, even though I enjoyed it just because I have so much of, um, orange spice brick. All right, you guys, if you like that kind of content, please hit that like and subscribe below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.